Hello, Sigmar Junior High. Today is 2 22 Tuesday. That's February 22nd, 2022. And welcome to this episode of the Daily Video Announcements. I'm Helene. Wow, that's a lot of tears. Last time that you'll be able to say that day for 100 years. I'm Eva, and let's all unite and honor America by standing and placing our hands over our hearts as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Thank you, and please be seated. Just another reminder to check final forms for you for your scheduling information. Did you know Neanderthals, not humans, were the first artists on Earth producing red clay paintings 65,000 years ago in Spain, according to new research published in Science? Oh, that's cool. Also, this week is special because this week is, is National Palindrome Week. Wow, a palindrome is a word, phase, phrase, or sequence that reads the same backward or forward. Celebrate by using as many palindromes as possible when you speak. Such as Civic, Radar, Level, Rotor, Kayak, Reviver, Race Car, Madam, and Refer. And today's date even counts as a palindrome. 2 22 22 is the same backwards. There are many more, so go crazy with it. Go ahead, Asalani. I'm a lasagna hog. Wait, what? It's a palindrome! Is there not a national day? Now for the fact of the day. Your heart pumps 2,000 gallons of blood per day. Wow. Today's daily survey. First, there was no daily survey last Friday due to some technical difficulties, but we do have a survey today, so make sure to check it out on Google Classroom. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to students Benjamin C, Kelly C, Sophia H, Skylar M, Emily N, Lucy S, Jack S, and staff member Mrs. Meyer who celebrate today. Okay. Also, happy birthday to Damien, Damien C, Robert F, Chase K, Kaylee L, Lily S, Larabella C, Caitlin M, and Carlton S, who all celebrated during the three-day weekend. We wish you a great and wonderful day to celebrate. On to our wonderful Mr. Harris with our video, with our daily announcements. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements on this lovely, psych raining Tuesday morning. Uh, was it 2 22 22? So, all the twos, if you're into twos, today is your day. All right, just a couple of announcements today. If you are a seventh grader and you would like to try choir next year in the eighth grade, you can. You need to see Mr. Callahan or Mrs. Stein in room 105 before your course selectors are due to find out more information. And today's Black History Highlight is one, this is a special one for me, Booker T. Washington. Um, he was alive from 1856 to 1915. And it's a special one for me because his granddaughter was a good friend of my grandmother's. So, all right, the task was daunting, launching a black college deep in Alabama amid the em burning embers of the Confederacy. The state for asked, asked for a white man to lead Tuskegee Institute. Instead, Booker Talaferro Washington got the job. Washington, born into slavery on a plantation just before the Civil War and educated at Hampton Institute, started Tuskegee in 1881 with 30 students, $2,000, and a one-room shack. In 1895, Washington was the only black speaker to address a mostly white audience at the Cotton States and International Exposition in Atlanta. His speech, critically dubbed the Atlanta Compromise, made Washington the most influential black person in America. He advised his brethren to work with their hands Cast down your bucket in the South, accept white supremacy, and patiently wait for real freedom. Washington hosted William T. McKin uh, President William McKinley at Tuskegee, visited President Theodore Roosevelt at the White House, and became an advisor to both on racial matters. He lectured around the country, helped start the National Negro Business League, and in 1901 published a best-selling autobiography, Up From Slavery. In 1915, Washington died at Tuskegee and was buried on the campus, which had grown to 1,500 students, 100 buildings, and had a $2 million endowment. As much as Tuskegee itself, Washington's legacy is the choices he introduced. Pragmatism or pride, self-improvement or social change to the black freedom struggle. 
That's our Black History Moment. Thank you guys for listening. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, what's for lunch today? For lunch today, we will have spaghetti. Also, we will serve chicken patties. Wow, yesterday really helped me catch up on some sleep. I know, right? It was great. Okay, now for the joke of the day. It's always windy in a sports arena. Why? All those fans. <laughs> <laughs> Go Waves. Waves.